You might be wondering what's the fuss about Agile and why are we talking about it in education? And I will explain that in a bit, but first let me share a story from my school days. So imagine this, I'm in Mr. Monotone's history class, struggling to stay awake. His voice is so dull that it feels like he's putting me to sleep. He talks on and on and on about some old battle, and I'm just trying not to doze off. And my close friend, if you see it's away, is already nodding off. <laughs> I cannot blame him, Mr. Monotones makes even most exciting history sound like a bedtime story. So I keep checking the clock, hoping time would go faster. And finally the bell rings and we rush out like prisoners accepting captivity. So my friend asked me, could that class be any more boring? He's got a point. Mr. Monotones knows how to make things dull. Walking to lunch, I start thinking about how to survive his lectures. Maybe bring a stress ball or turn his boring stories into adventure in my head. I needed all the tricks to make it through this year. And I told myself, if I ever become a teacher, I would say goodbye to boring lectures. And that's where Agile comes in. Agile is not just about project management. It's a way of making things dynamic, engaging, and most importantly, effective. Now let's dive into the Agile values and principles and see how they can transform education, making it more exciting and fruitful for both teachers and students. Okay. And here is the fascinating perspective. Building a product successfully doesn't necessarily equate to building a successful product. So in education, achieving a successful learning experience doesn't always happen through conventional teaching methods. It's about adding value and delivering something that truly resonates with the learner. Before Agile, the way people did things in the software industry was quite different. Everything was very strict. Um, there were fixed ways of doing things, a lot of paperwork and a big focus on rules and process instead of the final product. And this caused some problems. And development software took a long time. Customers weren't getting what they wanted. And a lot of projects failed. And then when Agile Manifesto came which changed the game. Oh, no, no.